Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS as it's commonly known, strikes fear in the heart of every parent, and myself included. I was a pediatrician before my first baby was born, and still, the thought of going into a bedroom and finding a cold, non-breathing infant was scary. And we have every right to be afraid of it. It's the most common cause of death from the time a baby's one month old until they're one year of age. And to be honest, we haven't made much inroads in preventing it. Sudden infant death syndrome by its very meaning means a death of an infant that's unexplainable. Now, we've studied it a lot, and in the 1990s, the American Academy of Pediatrics put together a list of common things that these babies had that they all shared. And they found that the one thing that was the strongest was them sleeping on their belly. So they started this back to sleep campaign. And over the first seven years of that campaign, they decreased the number of SIDS deaths by half. But unfortunately, since 1999, that number has pretty much stayed at about 2,500 per year. There's a couple things that we found that these babies that die from SIDS share. So let's go over those commonalities. Uh, it happens more in males. It happens more in black babies or babies of Native American descent. It tends to happen more in the winter months in houses that are kept too warm. There's also some risk factors that may have occurred prior to the baby being born. Moms who get poor prenatal care, they just don't show up to their appointments, or that they smoked or used drugs. There are a couple things that as parents we can do to minimize our chances as much as possible. Let's make sure that in the crib that we have a fitted tight sheet, that there's not any bumper pads, and there's no loose blankets, pillows, or stuffed animals that the baby can get up against and not be able to breathe. Don't smoke around our baby. Make sure your baby gets all their appointments and all the recommended vaccines. If your child's sick, make sure that they go to the doctor. Make sure they're not over bundled or that your house is not too hot and make sure that we don't smoke around our baby. That's something we can all do. If it does happen, at least we don't have any guilt that we caused any problems as far as leading to the baby dying. It's a terrible, terrible thing when it happens. We should all pray that it doesn't happen to our child and Pray for the people that it does happen to.